Now a few weeks ago, why I haven't been making videos is because I've got this problem. It would seem but I'm really down because uh, it looks like someone's out to get me. I was cleaning my truck out and I found a knife. I put it in the front because I was going to clear in, inside this box. I had some copper insulated pipe in which I was going to cut the next day. I put it was a long knife and I put it here in the truck. Then about eight o'clock at night, because that car park behind me was roped off, I put the car inside here. I just put it here, just like this, inside, facing that way. And so that is a matter of, uh, I don't know, 30 meters, something like that. And in the far end of the car park was, was a cop car, and I thought, I wonder what they're doing there. Obviously it was for me. One of them came up, and then uh, as I was opening the car, he reached in and he grabbed the knife. Which was on the which was on the uh, dashboard, and from then on, I was taken to the police station, made a statement, and uh, after four hours, I said I was sorry, and uh, you know, but I used I explained then that I used it for my business, stripping tires, stripping pipe, things like that, but now it's taking a turn for the worst because on that day they said we need you to sign this so we can throw away, we can throw away this knife. But they haven't thrown it away, they, they have in fact kept it. And now, I, the last time I made a statement, they asked me to say these, these things. One was, one was, I have no cooking license. The second one was, I have no uh, license to, to uh, sharpen tools or anything like that. And three, I don't have a katana license. They put that in my statement and I said I wouldn't sign it. So that ended at a uh, stalemate because it was also time up for the day with the interpreter of my interrogation. I was allowed to go on. Then they said they wanted me to come back. In that time, I uh, consulted the lawyer. He said, don't say anything. And on Monday morning, I did not go. And I told him I wasn't going because I wasn't going to say anything or, or sign anything. So then the next day he called me, if I didn't come come in, I would be arrested. My lawyer says, go in and don't say anything, don't do anything. Uh, so if you're out there and you're watching this video, if you ever get pulled in uh, for anything, which it could be, like I said, I had a knife in my car, you could have a knife in your jacket, which you, you know, you were ignorant of, whatever. Uh, don't say anything at all until you get a lawyer, get the advice of a lawyer. Uh, simple as that. And if you can get a public defender and there is a, something called O Terras and uh, you can like get, you can get a lawyer but pay for it. You can get a public defender for free or you can get a lawyer and pay for it per month as long as you earn less than 240,000 yen per month. So uh, like I said, I haven't been making many videos because my duck has been off also. People are still putting sharp objects into my tires and uh, so I'm very concerned about that because I think I saw the guy the other day and he, uh, he looked like a, a fit individual he was this person was definitely searching out my van it was like six o'clock in the morning I'd hid it behind some lockers this guy is searching he's searching me out and so that is a that's very uh, Disconcerning concert. I don't even know what I'm saying now. Anyway, so uh, I'm going in one hour to uh, be interrogated again. If you don't see me for a while, they can lock me up for 10 days at first. But I will be calling my lawyer should such a thing happen. And hopefully he can spring me. Bye-bye.